What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing Ting Lu in Ranked Regulation F. Now, Ting Lu has been seeing actually a decent amount of play in Regulation F due to its amazing ability. Vessels of Ruin drop an all special attack by 25% when this Pokemon is on the field. So, as there is a lot of special attackers such as Fluttermane, Ting Lu again starting to see some usage back in Rank Regulation F. So, we're trying it out today alongside with this Meta Squad and my boy Gyarados. Gyarados is a great support Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet Rock and Intimidate single handedly the best ability in the game. But Ting Lu has that clear amulet as item and then it's rocking a great moveset of stopping tantrum, payback, heavy slam, and protect. We can also pair up this Pokemon with Gouging Fire to drop a big time howl, get the attack boost on Ting Lu, allowing this thing to do some big time damage with both its stab moves. Cannot wait to use it. Like I mentioned, we have Gyarados on today's team. He's got Intimidate and the Rock Helmet as item. Rock and Waterfall, Taunt, Thunder Wave, and Helping Hand. Like I said, Gyarados is a great support Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Love it so much. Our other four Pokemon are going to be Gouging Fire, Rillaboom, Fluttermane, and Registeel. Registeel steals a nice defensive bulk, learns Iron Defense, and Body Press can't really get wrong with that. And then Rillaboom, got nice little terrain control. Also a fake out support. And you got Fluttermane for big time special attack and Galactic Fire for big time physical attack. So really like this team, should be able to rock out with it and grab some wins for you guys. If you guys want to run the code, it is at the top right hand corner. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Hopping into our first match for today's video and we're going up against a neutralizing gas slacking, right? You got wheezing with neutralized gas, you got slacking getting rid of its ability, making this thing very, very strong. But on top of that, they got a few big time attackers. They got Fluttermane, on top of that, they got Roaring Moon, and then they got Heatran and Ogre Pond. So from here, I do believe them to be going into slacking and using, which I don't blame them. Seems like a pretty solid play, but from here, we could also just fake out with Rillaboom. We won't have our, our grassy terrain, but I still think this Pokemon could be strong. We could also go into Tinglu. We could go into Gouging Fire. We could also Intimidate Turn 1, which wouldn't be terrible, right? It wouldn't be terrible. Could also Taunt. I got Thunder Wave. Got all that good stuff. So you know what? I might go into these two. Gouging Fire alongside with Gyarados. That's something I actually really like. And then we could just go into Fluttermane and Rillaboom here, which wouldn't be bad either. Or I could go Tinglu. This thing was actually not that bad. I actually like it here still. Especially if Fluttermane comes in late game or Heatran. We have Stop the Cancer for that. I think Lu can always just get after the special attack. So, liking the scene that we got going. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But for them to lead, for their lead, I think it's got to be slacking and wheezing, right? It just seems so perfect right now. I mean, I kind of hope it is because that's what I'm playing off of. I get to intimidate it. Then I might try to go for like a Howl Boost or like a Thunder Wave with her Gyarados. And then get after the match that way. But they are going to lead. Yep. Like I said, these two Pokemon. Oh my god, I just realized we don't get Intimidate. Ability's not here. Wow. Okay, so no Intimidate for us. No problem. Neutralizing Gas on the field. But from here, I could just go for a Burning Board, to be honest with you. I could Howl if I want to. I could go for Breaking Swipe. And honestly, I might just go for Breaking Swipe here. Breaking Swipe Taunt. I could Taunt the Weezing. We really don't want to protect and do much. Pit Thunder Wave could go for Helping Hand. I am just going to taunt this thing. We're going to taunt the Weezing. Probably going for like a will o -Wisp or something. I could definitely see it dropping a will o -Wisp. And then for Slacking, I kind of don't really know what moves it runs, right? Obviously, it has a normal move, maybe. I don't even know, like Facade or something. But Breaking Swipe's going to come out here first, which is massive. Drop an attack of him. And he's going to go for a knock off, taking off my item. Okay, so not that big of a deal. Taking off my booster energy. And I'm going to be able to taunt this Weezing Hope. Hoping that's going for like a will o -Wisp or some sort of support move here. And it is. Okay, so good taunt for us. We could just drop attack again. And that might be my play. Just go for another breaking swipe. And seeing how this one plays out. So I'm going to go for breaking swipe. And you know what? I'm just going to thunder wave this slacking slot. Gonna thunder wave the slacking slot. So what I'm actually kind of really hoping here is they stay in here. We get that attack drop yet again, and then I start howl boosting while they're really low on attack. So that's the plan. That's the plan. So hoping they're not gonna swap out here because then we get off the paralyzed. We get off another breaking swipe. But if they do swap, then it kind of fools my whole plan. 
We'll see. They're taking a long time to pick a move, so it's making me think they're going to swap and I'm going to be upset. No, they don't. Cool. So Breaking Sight flies out here again. We're getting a crit on uh, the slacking, but oh, and a crit onto the wheezing. But that move isn't really here for damage. It's here for that attack drop. The attack drop coming out, he is going to knock off my item, take it off my clear amulet, or actually my rocky helmet, my bad. And Thunder Wave is now flying onto you. So we get off the Thunder Wave. Let's see what Weezing ends up doing here. Gonna have to go for probably like a Sludge Bomb or something. That has some Gleam, Sludge Bomb. Going into the Gadget Fire Slot, chipping up some damage. So do I want to go for the Howl? I kind of want to. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I don't. What is your speed at? Where's your speed? I think Hal is still the player, so I'm gonna go for Hal. Um, you know, 152 with booster energy in. Actually, booster might have went towards attack, but I'm gonna go for the Hal here. Nice little Hal action, and just drop a waterfall into this easy here. Do some damage into that. So I get off the Hal, I get this beautiful attack boost on not only Galaxian Fire, but onto Gyarados as well. I'm able to just drop a big time waterfall. So waterfall flying out here. Nice damage onto you. And I get a flinch onto the Weezing, which we love. And Drain Punch now flies out here. So Drain Punch, really not doing too much here. Um, I could go for another how if I want to. It's definitely a possibility. But I think from here, we just finish off the Weezing and we finish off the Slacking, right? He could end up protecting Weezing. Definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility. Hmm. I'm just gonna go for breaking swipe and a uh, a waterfall here. Actually, I'm just gonna taunt the wheezing. I'm just gonna taunt the wheezing. Make sure that thing stays under taunt. So I'm just gonna go for heat crash. We're just gonna taunt the wheezing. We really just don't want the will o wisp to come out here. I actually probably just should have waterfalled it. It didn't. It didn't even matter if I taunted. I should just waterfalled it because if it, if it's going for will o wisp, we outspeed it. So yeah, that's that's it. That was a bad play by me, but next play we'll go for a waterfall. So Weezing ends up protecting. Hopefully, we're really hoping that this slacking does get a paralyze here. It's kind of due for one. And no, it's going to be able to drop EQ. So EQ flying out here. It is minus two. It's not stab. So I don't think this should KO the gouging fire. Really hope it doesn't. And it does. Cool. Now we're sitting here. Um, I think we're just going to go for a heat crash into the Weezing here. Now nah, we're just gonna waterfall that. So he crash gonna come out here. Go after you. Actually, break and swipe. Yeah, we're gonna break and swipe just in case maybe he'll swap into a different Pokemon. And we'll just waterfall the Weezing. Because break and swipe will, will KO the slacking, which is nice. So cool. Sitting in a solid position. Slow play in the start here. With Gyarados and. And what's it called? With Gyarados and uh, Gouging Fire. But they do end up swapping the slacking. Who are they going into here? Fluttermane, maybe? No, oh, Heat Train comes out here. So we have Ting Lu to kind of deal with that. Breaking Swipe is going to fly through here. Chip up a little bit of damage. Attack is going to drop on both these guys, even though they're both special attacking. And we are going to be able to get rid of the Weezing. <clears throat> so cool. Weezing gone. Intimidate can now come out here. But I believe they have to throw out a Pokemon first, which I like. And now they just have like a slacking in the back end. So actually, Intimidate comes out here now. Man, one of them to throw out a physical attacker and just get Intimidated. We got you low enough on HP. Fluttermane now comes out here. Fluttermane's looking a little scary. And um, I believe we just go for a heat crash into this thing. And we might just want to Thunder Wave you. I could actually double down to Fluttermane. I could double down to Fluttermane. Or I could swap into Ting Lu. Swapping into Ting Lu is not a bad call. It really isn't. Hmm. Maybe we just save the thing, Lou. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna do this. We're gonna go for a nice little... Actually, we'll go for a Burning Bulwark to get things started. We'll go for a Burning Bulwark, and we'll try to paralyze this Fluttermane here. Slowing it down a little bit. If I had to guess, they're probably double down in the Gyarados, but going for like a double-hitting move. And out comes the Terra onto the Fluttermane. So Fluttermane gonna rip a nice little Fairy Terra, and I'm actually really hoping that Heatran protects this turn. That'd be massive. I'm surprised he didn't protect the Heatran, to be honest. Or, uh, not protect, to rasalize the heat drain. Because now I can just waterfall that. But as long as I can get my, uh... As long as I can get my 
my team Luau here with some turns, we should be fine KOing both these Pokemon. Heavy Slam KOs the Fluttermane. On top of that, Sampa Catcher can KO this uh, Heat Train. But Gyarados is going to be able to go for a Thunder Wave. I thought he was going to Terrestrialize the Heat Train. That's why I didn't uh, go for a Waterfall here. But Thunder Wave works fine. We paralyze that guy, and he's just going to go for a Heat Wave. And hoping Gyarados can soak this up. Because if Gyarados can soak this up, I would like to get another turn with him. And he does. That's beautiful. That's lovely. The big time soak up comes out here. Um, from here, now that we got this thing paralyzed, I'm just gonna go for heat crash here, and just go for a waterfall into the heat train slot. Cool. So these guys staying on the field for a while right now, <laughs> gouging fire Gyarados, getting work done, getting work done. Big time paralyzed onto Fluttermane. Like I said, Gyarados really good on the support side, especially in Scarlet and Violet. He's usually a big time physical attacker, but Scarlet and Violet turned it into a support Pokemon, which I'm really liking. I'm really liking. Now we're going to see what he ends up doing. We're hoping he doesn't protect Heat Train. Because again, plus one Waterfall should be able to do some big time damage. And they don't protect, which is massive. So Heat Crash able to fly through here. Say bye bye to Fluttermane. Now that Galaxy Fire outspeeds. Wow, that did so much damage. That did so much damage. And we should be able to outspeed Heat Train with Gyarados. We do a plus one Waterfall. KO in. It's KO in. Let's go. Let's go. So their last Pokemon they have is going to be Slacking. And this is actually going to be a sweet crazy to say this match has been so long this is going to be a sweeping match number one we love it we love it so Gyarados just absolutely carrying and gouging fire and gouging fire can't can't give all the credit to Gyarados even though it was amazing with the thunder wave slowing down the flutter main waterfall doing big time damage but how ultimately helped the team out here same thing with the breaking swipes all that good stuff so they're forced to go into the final pokemon i don't know what's taking them so long probably because they just threw their chair through a wall getting sweeped like this <laughs> But that's gonna be the end of match number one. Come on, man. Bring out that slacking. Bring out that slacking. I'm gonna slap up on it, man. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. Just taking so long. Our pose probably being toxic. Like, you, you know what? I'm just gonna take all the time in the world. <laughs> you have one Pokemon left, just click A. Out comes the slacking. We're gonna kick a, click a nice little heat crash, click a nice little waterfall. And hopefully this cancel. But I bet they're gonna take all 60 seconds to pick a move. Yeah, this is what our opponent's doing. Thinking maybe I'll turn off my console or something. You're not winning this game. You're not winning this game. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. This is my win. This is my win. So, solid match number one. Cannot, cannot complain about anything. Cannot complain about anything. I think we play that one really nice. Breaking swipes coming in hot up against physical attackers. On top of that, taunting that wheezing. Turn one was a big time player for us. Reading that it was going to go for a support move such as Will-O-Wisp. Really helped us out, so we taunted that. We're able to drop attack stat, able to soak up some shots, and then from there, put up a nice big howl, and then have these Pokemon just thrive out from there. But out comes our final heat crash. Bang, bang. See you later, slacking, and that's match number one. Moving on to match number two. Would love to use Ting Lu here a little bit more, but we're going up against a ton of physical attackers. Gouging Fire, Incinum, Annihilate, who has to find, and then on top of that, they got Shen Pao and Ogre Pond. So I still want to bring in Ting Lu just because it's super effective onto a few of these Pokemon with stab moves such as Stop and Tantrum. But on top of that, I do want to bring in our Intimidate user but not lead it. So Gyarados Ting Lu, I definitely want to bring in here. I do like it. I do also like Registeel, especially if we can get these setup moves going, such as Iron Offense. So I might lead this alongside with Will. I think that could be pretty good for us, right? We can have the Fake Out option. On top of that, we can do the big time uh, iron, iron defense, get the plus two attack stat. Then if we have to terrestrialize, say like water because they have a few fighting type Pokemon, I don't mind doing that either. So I'm gonna go into Registeel. I am gonna go into Rillaboom here. Just like to have that fake out. And then in the back end, we're gonna go Ting Lu here alongside with Gyarados. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So looking to play this one slow, kind of like how we did that last one. We have Pokemon that aren't doing any crazy damage, but still can really thrive out in this matchup. So. I'm gonna set up the Siren Defense as quickly as possible. Boost that defense. Like we just mentioned, five physical attackers, Iron Defense will be star stud if we can get this up here. Then if we get one up, maybe we can get two up, go plus four, or maybe we get three up, just go plus six. And start chipping up against our opponent. But I do have Rolboom for the lead. I know they could possibly be leading Incineroar, which I don't mind too much because then I would just fake it out and set up the Iron Defense no problem, right? And yeah, out is going to, going to come Incineroar. Now, Fluttermane sitting here, probably thinking like, oh my god, this thing might go into a heavy slam. 
But in this case, I think Rillaboom should outspeed the Incineroar. Could be really good. Which could be really good. The attack's gonna drop onto the Rillaboom. From here, I just wanna check its speed real quick. It should be faster than him. 110, I believe that's faster than Incineroar. So I'm just gonna set up the Iron Defense. They do have Flutterman, which we do have King Lu in the back end for, which is good. I'm just gonna fake out the Incineroar slot. That's the play. That is the play. The fake out comes out here. They end up just chilling in here with Fluttermane. So I could have went for a heavy slam there. And he's gonna go for Shadow Ball. So we, I think he realized that maybe he should just straight up attack this Registeel. Iron Defense coming out here. We're gonna bulk up just a little bit. And I think from here, we might just end up protecting Registeel. We might end up protecting Registeel. We might protect the steel, the steel man. Or I could just go for heavy slam this turn. I could tear and go into it, but I'd rather just protect this turn. And to be honest, I'd rather just go for like a wood hammer. See how much damage I could do on the flutter main. Let's be honest. Let's see how much damage we could do on the flutter main here. I know that Incineroar could just fake me out, and I know I'm intimidating minus one, but I still feel as a wood hammer. And a grassy guy should be able to KO this Fluttermane. Like, Fluttermane's not that bulky on the defensive state side. So, I was hoping that would do that. But they end up just hard swap. So, let's see who they throw out here. It'll be Annihilate. So, Annihilate is going to have to take this Wood Hammer. Protect's going to come out here from Registeel. We're plus two on the fence. And Water Tower type's looking pretty good. Water Tower type looking pretty good. And Wood Hammer doing a nice chunk of damage onto that Annihilate, which we love. Whatever's gonna fly out here, take out our Rillaboom, and actually, no, we survive unless we get burned. Which we don't. We love. We love. Okay, cool. So, Rillaboom's out here, able to get off another turn here. Um, I think from here we might want to Terrasilize. We might want to Terrasilize and maybe go plus two here. We might want to go plus, or not plus two, plus four. With our Iron Defense. Because if. If he's going to go for anything, if that Annihilate's going to go for anything, he is just going to go for a what's it called? He's just going to go for a, uh, a bulk up, which I mean, I would sacrifice a bulk up for this thing to go plus four. You know, we're just going to keep throwing wood hammers in this slot. I don't mind that. We're just going to keep throwing wood hammers into the slot. So we're kind of hoping he's going to go for a drain punch here. Looking to get some HP back, all that good stuff. But I'm going to Terrasilize into a solid little water type. So water typing is going to come out here for our Reggie Steel, And this is kind of how I want to play. Just get Reggie Steel bulked up. Have it chilling here. I know they got Fluttermane in the back end, but I do like having Team Lu here. So Drain Punch is going to fly. Perfect for us. Very, very perfect for us because look how little damage that did. And we're only plus two. Now we're going to go plus four here. He might double down into me, we will see, and Woodhammer doing a nice chunk of damage. We love it. So big time damage, we die to recoil. We do, no big deal. No big deal, because Incineroar's really not doing too much here. What are you going to do, parting shot, knock off, that's fine. Kind of annoying though, I really wanted my, my leftovers, but at least I get some HP back with terrain. So Iron Defense now bulking us up, plus four. Plus four! And I'm ready to start dropping body presses. Gonna rip up into this Incineroar, so... Now we're sitting here with Annihilate. Now Annihilate, kind of annoying. It's It has to go very, very soon. It has to go. So I am going to bring out, not our Intimidate user, but I'm going to bring out Tinglu. So Tinglu is going to come out onto the field. Uh, Drain Punch ew, is looking real scary. It is looking real scary. Drain Punch looking terrifying. But I got to go for a Body Press into this slot. And if I could, I, should I just go for a Payback here? Yeah, Payback will actually do more damage. Because the damage will be doubled if I go after the user. Tinglu obviously going to be slow onto the field. He's going to end up withdrawing this Pokemon. Probably swapping into Fluttermane, which will be a good call. And you're going to go into Shen Pao. That's fine. So Shen Pao, he's looking for the big time damage. But he's probably going for a Drain Punch into the Tinglu slot. And honestly, this thing's going to be annoying to take care of. This Pokemon right here. This Annihilate going to be very annoying to get rid of. Very annoying. Body Press now gonna fly, probably Sash you up, and no Focus Sash comes out for the Shen Pass. So we just pick up the free KO. We just pick up the free KO. Payback is gonna be double damage, but I don't think it's doing anything crazy. I mean, hopefully we get a crit or something. Yeah, nothing crazy. So now this Pokemon right here, Annihilate, is going to be the big problem. 
Annihilate's gonna be the big problem. Bit too much of a problem, right? A bit too much of a problem. And I don't think I think it's a problem that we can't handle. I really do. I really do think it's a problem that we can't handle. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you because this thing's getting back too much HP. Drain punch hitting real hard. I can't body press it either, which really sucks. And he's just gonna go into Flutterman. The Flutterman comes out here. Um I think our plan might just be to double down into Into an eye leap here, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double down into an eye leap. Hopefully, Fluttermane's not attacking. We're hoping Fluttermane kind of just protects here, especially just going onto the field here. No, he's just gonna moonblast me. He's just gonna take out my Ting Lu. Oh, man. Man, and then he's probably just slamming a Rage Fist into me, right? And he's gonna go for the bulk up. So, bulk up coming out here. Yeah, we have to get rid of an eye leap. I'm, for I'm forced to Defiant Boost this thing, too. Which really sucks. Heavy Slam flying here. Doing nothing. Yeah, we cannot. We cannot KO this Pokemon. That's rough, man. And Nihilate getting after us. Was trying to do that thing that with Registeel. And I feel like we set up Registeel really nicely. But from here, it's just... It's game over. It's game over. I should have brought in another big time threat to a Nihilate. I should have. Should have brought in my Fluttermane. Should have brought my Th Fluttermane instead of Gyarados. Now we're just gonna define pop. Womp womp. And Reggie Seal, I mean, I could just go for a heavy slam into this Flutter Me now. Look to get rid of it. Nope, not you. And from here, maybe just try to go for a waterfall. I mean, that's our best bet. Maybe look for a flinch. I don't know. He ends up withdrawing, going into Gyarados, and yeah, this one's over. This one's over, just just because of the sheer fact of uh, we're not we're not gonna be able to do enough damage to KO this Annihilate. We just can't. We just can't, especially with this uh, Intimidate going into Gyarados slot. Unless we get, like, a crit. I think that's our only way. But he ends up just protecting an eye leap. Looking to get back some more HP. That's our only That's our only way we can win this match, is if we get a crit. Now, the thing is, I want to go for a body press into this Incineroar. But if they hard slot back into Fluttermane, tough news for us, right? Real tough news for us. But they're slowly getting back HP. Um... I'm just gonna try to go for a heavy slam. Actually, we might as well. I don't even know, man. Screw it. Our only way of winning is gonna be heavy slam. Hopefully, they swap and then on top of that. I mean, we could start paralyzing. Maybe that could help. But I mean, once this thing starts attacking, it's pretty much over. So I'm gonna go for a waterfall here. They're not gonna swap there. Going to terrestrialize. Is that annihilate? No, I was gonna say, are they terrestrializing annihilate? That would be crazy, but they end up terrestrializing this thing into Ghost. Pretty smart play. Kind of dodging all of our body presses. Now we got three Ghost type on the field. I can't body press them. I just can't. I just can't. I cannot body press them and Annihilate getting after it. I was hoping that Annihilate was terrestrializing because that would have gave us a shot. But now Rage Fist is just hitting like an absolute truck. And Heavy Slam can cannot KO these people. It just cannot. Let's see how much damage it does to this thing. Yeah, it's just not doing the damage. Heavy Slam has to do with weight damage, not our defense, like body press. And then they got too many ghost types. So, solid setup for us getting Reggie Steel after it, but then with the ghost types. Ghost Terror type, Flutter Main coming out here. Same thing with Annihilate. And really, the main threat was Annihilate, but I feel like we could have won this match. They didn't have Annihilate, but Annihilate just is a powerhouse. Final match for today's video on its way, and we are sitting one and one. We're going up against the Ting Lu team, so we got Ting Lu versus Ting Lu. They also have Corviknight. They got Fluttermate, Ogre Pond, Annihilate. Hate. We hate. And then last but not least, they got Gouging Fire, just like us. So this time, we're not going to make the same mistake of not bringing a Pokemon that can that cannot KO uh, Annihilate. So I'm going to be bringing in Choice Specs Fluttermate. I'm not going to be leading it, but I definitely want to bring it in. Um, as our lead, I kind of like Ting Lu and Gouging Fire. I feel like that's pretty solid for us. Especially if I can start getting off some Hal Boost. That's something I like. And then we're going to go Fluttermane. And last but not least, probably go in with just like Rillaboom. I feel like Rillaboom could be pretty solid, especially up against Ogre Pond. It could be neutral. I mean, first turn priority is going to be great with Grass Guide. And on top of that, we get off some Fake Outs. We get off Fake Outs. It would be funny to see them lead Ting Lu, Gouging Fire, just like us. Then we have a mirror matchup. I think I would like that a lot. 
But I would think they would lead a Pokemon like Corviknight or a Nihilate. Let's see. Let's see. Please be Ting Lu and Gouging Fire. Let's have some fun here. Gouging Fire and a Nihilate. Oh, so close. So close. So close. So close. So I bring out both of these guys. Ting Lu's ability is really not doing much. Um, hmm. Could Terrasalize our boy right here. I mean, I think we have to just start attacking Annihilate, right? Most likely. Annihilate's just so good. It really is. If I can Terrasalize into straight poison, start throwing stopping cancers around. And going into poison type is actually not bad, so that's what I'm going to do. Do that, and I'm just going to go for a Heat Crash here. Actually, I'm going to just go for Hal. I'm just going to go for Hal. Boost our attack stat here. And still Terrasalize our boy at the same time. So the Hal will actually come out before the Ting Loom does attack, so that's going to be pretty good given a plus one. We'll be able to chunk up some nice damage. <clears throat> so Poison Tower type coming out here. Get the Skull and Crossbones. We love it. And Hal is out and about. So plus one on both stats. I wonder if he's thinking the same thing. You got Hal too. You rocking Hal as well. You do. <laughs> that is awesome. I, you seriously should have led Ting Lu. You should have led Ting Lu. It would have been so cool. Would have been so cool. So Hal's coming out here on both sides. Bulk up hopping. So Annihilate bulking up here. Oh, this thing. Bit of a threat. Payback. Get a crit. Some nice damage. We like that damage. We like that damage. And from here, I'm going to Hal again. And I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, this Galaxy Fire with Stopping Tantrum. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Annihilate might protect you. Annihilate might protect, and it does. So I'm going to be able to Howl again, plus one on both sides of the field. And Gouging Fire is actually going to go before us. So let's see what Gouging Fire is going to do first and foremost. Breaking Sweat. That's fine. That's fine. You can drop us both one, but I still think the Sopic Hatchim has a hot shot at KO. Actually, you're pretty bulky, but let's see. Let's see. Sopic Hatchim coming in hot here. Getting rid of him. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That's big time for us. Dropping that how I'm gonna do it again, I believe. Depending on who they go into, because ugh, dude, Annihilate, man. I hate this Pokemon. It's just so strong. They're gonna go into Ting Lu. The Ting Lu comes out. You better not have Fisher. That'd be a scary little scene, right? You have ground moves, which is terrifying, but I'm just gonna go for a how again. And I'm just gonna go for a payback into Annihilate. A little bit of how action. God dang Ting Lu. God dang Team Lu. So, honestly, this Annihilate is sitting at plus two attack, plus one defense. Um, I'm going to go first with a Howl, like I just did. And this will put us plus two on attack. So that happens here. Rage Fist flying. How much damage is this Rage Fist really doing? Decent amount. My Team Lu is able to go first, though. Can this KO? It does. So, getting rid of Annihilate, massive. Massive. I think their Team Lu is just going to get rid of my Team Lu, correct? Now he's going to get rid of my Gouging Fire. So Gouging Fire going to drop. Ooh, survive here. Which is very nice. Plus two. <laughs> and they're going to send out Fluttermane. Fluttermane comes out here. Um, okay. Fluttermane out and about. Um, trying to go for Heavy Slam if we can. And I guess I'll go for maybe a Burning Bulwark. But it's not really going to do much here. It's really not going to do much. Because if I go for a Burning Bulwark, they're probably just going for a Dazzling Beam. And trying to double down into my... Probably just trying to double down in my thing. Let's be honest here. Actually, I outspeed, so good thing I did go for that booster energy. Loving it. I get that minus one on Ting Lu. That's massive. And Fluttermane's just gonna go for Shadow Ball, which can we soak with this ability out here? We don't. Oh, that would have been huge. That would have been huge. We would have soaked that because Heavy Slam would just flew, taking out the uh, taking out the what's it called? The Fluttermane. And Sopping Tantrum now just finished off Galaxy Fire. So we have a minus one Ting Lu, which is pretty good. I get to bring out lovely little Fluttermane. But the problem here with Fluttermane is going to be Ting Lu. Right? I could fake out Ting Lu turn one. I could. I could definitely fake out Ting Lu turn one. He could end up protecting. I might just go after Fluttermane here. I might double down on Fluttermane, to be honest with you guys. To be honest with you, I might just double down to Fluttermane. Let's go Dash and Gleam and Grass God. I think that's actually going to be my play. 
I think it's actually gonna be my play. So we're gonna see Terra come out here. Please be Ting Lu. Is it Ting Lu? Yeah, it is gonna be Ting Lu. So Ting Lu's gonna click that Terra button. Go straight into Fairy, which is pretty smart because, oh man. I don't know if we're able to win this game. I doubt he protects Flutterman, right? No, he doesn't. Cool. So Grass Guy's gonna be able to fly here, do some nice damage. You're gonna go for a Shadow Ball. I'm going to be able to soak that. And I'm gonna be able to go for Dazzle Gleam, which I think should KO Flutterman. It does not KO Flutterman. And I'm able to soak the Heavy Slam. That's big time news. That's big news. It's big time news. So it's good to know that my Fluttermane actually doesn't outspeed his Fluttermane. It does not. It does not. So from here, I'm just going to stick with the Dazzling Gleam because I'm choice into it. And... I'll just go Woodhammer maybe in this slot. Or do I just Grassy Guy the Fluttermane? This is a tough one. This is a tough one. He's minus one. I'm just going to go for Grassy Guy and Fluttermane. Cool. Cool, I made the right call. Simple call. I was gonna read a protect, but I realized like recently I've been making like reads and the reads weren't working out. So good call for me to go in the grass clock. Dazzling's gonna fly. Chip up some more damage in the Ting Lu. He's forced to go for a heavy slam. Yep. He's gonna take out the Fluttermate. So I'm hoping that one wood hammer just dumps on this thing, correct? Right? One wood hammer should dump on you. I really hope so, and that's exactly what we're gonna go for Woodhammer, because I don't wanna take too much recoil damage. Woodhammer flying here for the KO. One HP? One HP! One HP! Yo, if this KOs me, I'll be upset. You're, you're minus one. Okay, cool. You'll be so couple of that. We can still up like two more of those. I was gonna say, one HP, you're living? That's absurd. That's absurd. But this one's looking good for us. I can just spam Grassy Guide now. For the win, no problem. They just canceled the match. So 2-1, thriving out with this Ting Lu team today. Another winning record on the channel. Love this team so much. Gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Charizard for sending this team to me over on Twitter. I honestly forgot to do it in the introduction. That's my bad, but I will be linking this channel down in the description below alongside with the Pokebase. So if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, like I said, head down to the link in the description below. But Ting Lu and Gyarados absolutely thriving out here today. Same thing with Gouging Fire with how we were boosting Gyarados' attack stat, Ting Lu's attack stat, and just thriving out from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.